What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Pat Takes a GoPro through the shopping center and gets chronic social anxiety. Today I'm cooking honey chicken, like the shit from the Chinese shop. You know, everyone knows it. So apparently it's really hard to cook, but I'm not too sure, like I'm, I assume it would be. I'm guessing it's kind of honey and chicken, but like when I get in there, I'm obviously gonna think a little bit more about it. Um, this is another episode of Clueless Cooking. Thanks for tuning in. And let's fuck this completely up. Just like I nearly fucked that guy on the scooter. Completely up. Oh my God, the shop's closed. What the fuck? She, man. <laughs> All right, this is my local shopping center. It's a proper shithole. Like, Woolworths is the only thing that still exists in this shop. Wait till I show you down the side here. That's the entry, but I need to show you this. Look at that. It's like, I don't really play Call of Duty, but this is what I picture a Call of Duty map would be like. Like a pretty cool one. Turns out it's fucking prime time for every cunt to go shopping. Like, it's so busy. Like, fuck. I'm gonna get stir fried chicken. I want pre diced breast. Here we go. Saves me from cooking it up, you know what I mean? Chopping it up, sorry. Okay, so obviously chicken, fuck else would go in it. Um, I'm gonna go to the, the international section, you know? Asian foods. Now, I know that I got, I won't lie, I got told it was a batter I have to use. I assumed all I'd have to do was just fucking, just like crumb it almost, but apparently not. What the fuck, cunt? I might as well get rice while I'm here, right? Now normally I just get packeted rice, but I'm gonna do it, do it proper. I'm gonna like cook the rice, jasmine rice, that's normally pretty good, isn't it? Now what the fuck do I coat the chicken in? Bro, this is easy. I need like a batter, not just a sauce. I need like a, I'm doing it proper, like they deep fry it. He's telling me I have to make the batter myself. Bruh. Don't take the piss. What do you make, what, what's in the batter? Milk, eggs, and flour, <laughs> bruh. I'm gonna make the sauce myself, I'm not gonna get that. That's cheating, I need honey, obviously. I feel like honey and soy. It's just honey chicken, but it's not honey soy chicken. So no soy sauce, fuck that. Sesame oil. Sesame oil is in everything. <laughs> so it just makes sense to put that in. And then it's just honey and I reckon a little bit of sugar. But I can't be that hard. Herbs and spices, might as well get sesame seeds while I'm here. 100. I can't find sesame seeds everywhere, but, oh you got them? I lied. We got them. Now, I'd rather not 500 fucking kilos of it if there's a smaller one. Because I don't really want to spend 60 bucks like making that cheesecake. How the fuck do you make batter? What even is batter? Milk, eh? I just feel like Chinese people wouldn't use milk when they cook. I feel like they're too good for that. They'd use egg, but... Fuck yeah, they'd use egg. Well, right, here with the flour. Now, obviously, it's going to take... It's a specific flour, right? It's not because it's going to be your average flour. Like your average plain flour. Small, the small. Thank you. Self-raising, that's for cakes. Could be self-raising. Rice flour, hang on a second. So, call me a cheater, but I'm with Toby who gives me little clues through his mannerisms and he really eyed off the corn flour, so I'm guessing I'm guessing it takes a little bit of corn flour and then probably not self-raising because that's all, they've just got pictures on cake, like cakes all over it. So I'm just gonna get plain flour and then I'm guessing you mix it with milk or water. Like I said, I don't think Chinese people use milk. They're too good for that. I can just flour and egg. That's fucking pasta. What are they, how do these cunts make it moist, brah? I know batter, like it's fucking, God, it's wet. It's wet. It 
has to be milk. But I just don't believe they use it. Fuck it. Everyone needs milk. Let's go get some. And I reckon they fuck with full cream too. I reckon they love that shit. I got um, a fuck ton of oil at home. So all I'm gonna need is honey. Honey is the most expensive shit in the world, by the way. Let's go, baby. Shops. Toby's laughing his head off, thinks I've got fucking next to nothing of what I need. You got like half. 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 It's gonna be a tough one, guys. This is gonna be a tough one, but hey, as you know, I'm not cooking it tonight, so I'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're back, and before we start ripping into some honey chicken, quick shout out to meme of the week, Scout. Scout, you always pull through. So there's a few funny, funny memes going around in the Facebook group, You Wouldn't, which is also the podcast. Make sure to check it out. And uh, I'm going to be giving the meme of the week a shout out each time. So let's get into it. Honey chicken, an Asian favorite for, I think, Westerners. I'm not sure traditional Asian people. I don't even know if it would be a traditional Asian dish, if I'm being completely honest, but it's Westernized as fuck. It's hectic. I've got what I think I need. Um... As we know from yesterday, Toby said you've got half the shit you need, so I'm a bit of a fuckwit, but let's get underway. I think the rice probably takes the longest to cook, maybe? So like I said, I usually just use the preheated rice cup, so... Oh, uh, fuck. I don't know, I'm gonna cook the rice first. Because rice can just sit there and simmer. Uh, I'm not feeding a fucking army, I'm not sure why I poured so much in. And then just... I'm guessing that's how you make rice, guys. So, let's come to the fucking stove. It's pretty eats well. That's rice. Underway. So, that was pretty fucking easy. Now, let's get on to the chicken. Now, this is the part that's fucked. Because you need a batter, right? So, I'm going to make a batter in here now. What I believe I need is plain flour. Corn flour, because Toby was eyeing that off in the shops. And, obviously, chicken breast. Sieb's cutting it. And then maybe an egg. I'm going to deep fry the chicken, right? Now, just because that's what Asians would do. That's how they do it. So it's eats. So you get a fuck ton of oil, basically. God, this is chat. And just pour it in. Fuck it. I don't normally deep fry stuff, so I'm not 100% how it works. But um, look, oil and heat, you can't really go wrong, can you? So the beauty of my kitchen is you can cook four things at fucking once because we've got four of the little cunts. So obviously that's going to take a while to heat up. So I let that sit there. Let that scissor uh, sizzle. And I'm going to get burnt. <laughs> let that scissor smash. And then um, let's get into it. I have a real strong tickle in my balls that tells me milk isn't the key base to the batter. But we're here now. So you can all go fuck yourselves. Guessing flour is the base. Corn flour is gonna, I don't know what it's gonna do, but something. I never know what corn, I don't even know corn flour is meant to be in it. I just know Toby was looking at it at the shops yesterday, so I assumed. I don't really think corn and chicken goes together, but who gives a fuck? And milk, bruh. Now I hate seafood, but I see the I see this shit like it at shops. Like when you go to a seafood shop and I get potato scallops. Like you see it, it's like a grayy kind of batter. Should've got a bigger bowl, eh? It smells hectic. I swear to God, it smells nice. So if you saw the last video on how to make a cheesecake, you'll know that we have a handheld batter thing, which is here. Oh, look at that cunt. Do you just call it a batter? Yeah. Not a beater. A beater. <laughs> a beater for the batter. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's got to be a bit thicker, eh? Something tells me this isn't going to turn out as well as the cheesecake. I'm not sure what tells me that. All right. That is way too not thick. Way too not thick. Something's burning. It's my rice. 
My rice is completely burnt. Fucking hell, cunt. Oh, my rice is so burnt. Oh, it stinks like shit. Fuck me. Now I'm gonna put that back on, on a bit lower heat. Don't put your fucking finger in that, come on. I was just gonna see how hot it was, but it's okay. All right, now I need to make this thicker. Thicker than a snicker, thicker than Nicki Minaj's ass. Turns out rice isn't as easy as I thought it was to cook. Oh fuck, this is a disaster. <laughs> this is an absolute, now this is a true representation of clueless cooking. Last week was fucking, I'm a genius cooking. And this week's I'm a complete actual fucktard. This is chat. This looks so unappealing. Let's ramp up the speed here. It's looking all right, eh? I swear to God, I could have nailed this. Sometimes less is more, like, you know what I mean? Like, I bet you when I look at the recipe at the end of how to actually do it, there's gonna be so much shit I forgot, but it's like, hang on a second. I'm just a basic guy cooking. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need it to be top notch. I I'll take a seven or eight out of 10. I don't need it to be 10 out of 10. Good texture, real good consistency. So I assume, Capiche. Now, the trick is, do I put an egg in it? Cause you know what I mean? Again, traditionally speaking, Chinese people use eggs in a lot of their form of cooking. Egg fried rice, stuff like that. Look at that. Kid can crack an egg. Just one. Don't need to go extreme with it. Now what that egg's gonna do is just make it all stick. You know what I mean? That's, that's, the, that's the purpose of the egg. Nothing more, nothing less. Not for flavor. Don't need it for flavor. It's just to purely make that chicken stick a little bit more. I could drink, I could just pick that up and drink it. It smells so good. I won't though, because that's disgusting. Uh, the rice completely fucked still. The rice is completely fucked. I'm not sure how long it takes, like, do you, like, is this something you cook it as long as you cook pasta? Is it till the water soaks in? I feel like I put too much water in. You're about to butcher the biggest staple in 90% of cultures. Absolutely. I think I've already butchered it. So this is really gonna be, this is this is my prediction. So Toby's gonna be doing the blind taste testing this week. I think he's not gonna tell the difference between the chicken, but I think he's gonna taste the butchered rice. This is so soggy. I just wanna let you know, on the back of every rice, there's instructions on how to cook it. Yeah, but that's not the point of the video. <laughs> that's boring, bro. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. See, I could always just do another batch. That is still rock hard. Like I might as well have just done this, straight from the bag. Right, this is that crunchy and it just tastes fucking burnt. Right, I'm redoing the rice. I have to use the pot again. No, no, no. Fuck! <laughs> no, it's hot, it's gonna burn me. I can't do anything right, I'm fucking useless. Fuck this. Thanks for watching, the video's over. <laughs> Look at that! Ew, dude. <gasps> what the fuck, bro? We don't have another saucepan. Alright, so I think what I did before was make it way too hot and nowhere near enough water. So, I'm gonna fuck shit up here. So we've got it on six, as you can see, and I'm gonna let that just simmer. Just let it simmer. Look, I, I made a silly mistake, that's all it was. Mistakes happen. I think the chicken's ready to be battered. I don't know, I just assume. I don't know what I do once it's been battered. So I just put it in a bowl. Straight in the oil. Okay. Toby's given me a couple nods, I won't lie. <laughs> Toby gave me a couple nods. Oh, you're kidding, bruv. Nailed it. Nailed it. Get rid of all that shit off it. Look at that. Now, the other thing I... 
I don't know is how long you cook chicken in deep fry for. Because you don't, there's one thing you don't want to fuck up when cooking, it's chicken. Because it actually gives you salmonella. That oil just popped up and completely cunted both of us. Fuck this shit. It's really- Ah, oh, fuck you. This is pretty chat. <laughs> this is actually quite disgusting. Um, <laughs> this is really disgusting. I also don't know what utensils you're allowed to put in this. Can I put like a wooden spoon in that? Sure can. Oh no, it's a one big brick, because I didn't do it individually. Look at that, <laughs> look at that. It's literally one big fucking brick. Okay, so I might have to redo it, unless I can split them like this. Why was I so impatient? It's, it's literally like they're all clumped together, because I just did them as a group. While we wait for that, I'm gonna order some actual chicken from a Chinese restaurant. Honey chicken with steamed rice. It's just small ones, fine things. Pay with Apple Pay. All right, so now that the real shit's on its way, let's go check in on ours. Absolutely disgusting. The batter's not even on it. The batter didn't even stay on. Now the reason I didn't put all the chicken in is in case I fuck it up, which I did. So, I'm gonna redo it all. But it's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. Mm. Get a look at that. I might leave that. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer to see if that base kind of settles in. It's not as bad as I thought. The rice is fucked. The rice is completely and utterly fucked. And the sauce, we just do at the end. Sauce, not a big deal. We can wait for that. Let's make sure my Uber Eats is confirmed. DoorDash. Your card has insufficient funds. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! I do have money. I just gotta transfer it. Look at that. Minus 90. Oh, can't. Can you show them your bank account. Why? They can send me money. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, bruh. That's my details. 0823327423 Send me money. Alright, chicken semi looking mad. I swear to god, the chicken's looking mad. Should probably turn a light on in here, I just realised. That is so much better. Oh, look at that. Now we can actually see shit. Uh, rice, still a little bit fucked. Sink, completely fucked. Oh, this is gonna be a cunt to clean up. Okay, rice is getting there. We can work with that. Maybe a little bit too wet. Out you go, buddy. Rain free, little one. I wonder how much oil restaurants go through, bro. Like, don't they empty their oil out every day? They'd have to, eh? It's disgusting if they don't. All right, now we're just gonna let this simmer, let it cook. Let it sizzle, and we'll see you in a bit. All right, so that's been cruising for a bit. I'm gonna taste test the chicken, because there's one thing you don't wanna do, it's undercook your fucking chicken. Let's get a bit of a hunky chunky piece, because that's gonna be the hardest to cook through. It's perfect. That is perfectly cooked chicken. I don't even have to taste it. Taste test the rice now which is probably not as perfectly cooked as the chicken. I don't know what gave that away. It's unedible. It's hard still. You can't even eat it. Why is it so hard? I don't know what to do with the chicken because it's still boiling even though it's off the heat. Now, this is another trick that I've seen somewhere, I don't know where. When you get fucking deep fried food, you put this down so it collects all the oil and that. You know what I mean? And then you just go one, two, three, bosh. Fuck, Simi looks cracked. I swear to God, this looks yum. The rice is just completely fucked. I might just take the loss on the rice if it doesn't come good and be like, okay, I lost on the rice. And then use the rice I order for Toby's taste test because otherwise it's a dead giveaway, it's fucked. The sauce isn't gonna take long to make, so I'm gonna let the rice just cruise, chill out for a bit, hopefully get better. Let the chicken settle, and then when my order's closer, do the sauce, whip it up. All right, so the order's been picked up, so let's get the sauce going. Now, something that I think is gonna be a little bit tricky is not getting the honey to stick to the pan, so I'm gonna put a bit of oil on. Also, 
Toby just told me there's a video by what's his name? Dim Sim Lim. Dim Sim Lim on TikTok, and he actually did this not long ago. So he's obviously a proper cook, and he knows how to do it. So. I'm gonna post this on TikTok, like a little snippet, and let's smash the comments and tag him and see if he reviews it. That'd be pretty fucking funny. That's all I ask of you guys. You can subscribe as well if you want. And leave a comment on this video and like the video. That's also cool. Yep, yeah, I'm a fuckwit. Sesame oil, because it's got everything in it. I don't know. Is that too much, Dragon? Um, yeah, it's very strong. Is it? Mm. And it's honey, pretty much, guys. God, I can smell that sesame oil. I didn't realize it was like really po poignant. Poignant. Potent. I should probably put this on the heat, eh? Put it on six. So it's just gonna simmer on six. I've also put a lid on the rice, as you can see, because I realized it's called steamed rice. And it wasn't steaming without a lid on. Bernie apple feet, baby. Quick little story time for you while we're waiting for it to cook. On the theme of Asian food, when I was young, I went out to a Japanese restaurant with my primary school friend and his family and I've never been out to dinner at like a steak place like where they cook steak and anyway, they're going around the room and they're going how would you like your steak cooked and everyone's saying rare medium rare medium rare and I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about and I thought they were saying raw so they get to me and the lady's like oh how would you like your steak and I just looked at her and I was like oh just cooked please <laughs> Everyone full lost at laughing like you're an actual fuckwit and I'd never been so I didn't know and I got bullied for still to this day I get bullied for it so yeah, I'm impatient. It's going, the heat's going up. The other meal's nearly here. He's approaching with your order. Just leave it at the door, please, brother. We should get him in to try it, but that'd be so fun. <laughs> this is just not heating up. Shouldn't it bubble or something? Soon. Fucking hell, bro. Look at that, sizzling. Oh, yeah. Now yeah, we can turn it down a bit. That's what you want. You want to bring it to a sizzling heat, and then you just go kapow. I don't want it to flick up and burn me. This is the cunt, bro. I said leave it at the door and he's caught. Oh, that's my sister. <laughs> Make sure you let me know what you want me to cook next as well, guys, because this was actually fucking hard. Cheesecake, I smashed, we know that. This one, I've got a slight little feeling it's gonna be a fail, but we'll see. Let us know what you want me to cook next. So, as you know, it can be dessert, it can be savory, it can be whatever the fuck you want. So, um. Keen as a fucking bean, turn this down. Just let it simmer on two. Now I don't care what cuisine it is. Everything tastes better with a bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna taste the rice. As you know, I might not use it because it could be a little bit unfair. No. The rice tastes fucking awful. Like actually disgusting. Like burnt? No, just shit. So. I'm gonna use the rice that the Chinese restaurant gave me because I think that's fair. Let's go. All right. This is where Toby's gonna to go, hide in his room. I'm gonna call him. Thanks, Toby. All right. So we use their rice. Smash. And that's what rice is meant to taste like, not my shit. Fuck, that is good honey chicken. But, mine actually looks all right. Like, you can't lie to me. You can't say that doesn't look good, but who knows what it'll taste like. So I'm gonna steal a bit of this rice, obviously. Put it in there, Bosh. Yum. Mm, that wasn't that nice, actually. Now we're gonna serve mine up. I swear to God, mine kind of looks better. I'm not, even, like, I'm not even taking the piss. Then sauce it. I swear to God, mine semi looks better. Sesame seeds, key. Fuck, I put way too many on. Mine, actual one. Mine, actual one. Let's go take them out. I want to taste mine. Way too many sesame seeds on it, but uh, this is my one. Oh my God, it's so hot. Oh my, oh my bone. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh my bone. Oh. 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 Oh my eyes, boy. It's so hot. But. 
It's actually really good. My one's actually really good. It may be... I think the honey taste is a little bit too much honey. You know what I mean? The one from the shop's a little bit more like... Weaker honey taste. This is like straight honey. Let's bring Toby out. All right, Toops. Can you see? No, I cannot. What's in the box? What's in the box? All right, so... This one's going to be first. Okay. This one's going to be second. Are you talking to me? No, the viewers. Okay. Open up. What do you taste? Taste um, sesame oil. Like sesame oil. I wonder who's the one with sesame <laughs> oil could be. Hmm. That's pretty good though. Hang on, hang on a second. Who said it was mine? I'm not saying it's yours, I'm saying it's pretty good. All right, and the second one, open. Comes the aeroplane. Oh. Yes, bosh. What okay. are you tasting? The first one, mm -hmm. much crispier. Like, yum. And? The second one was a bit wet. Like it'd been in the sauce for too long, or it was like slimy. A bit soggy, eh? Very soggy. But not a nice flavour. Which one do you think was mine? <laughs> which one do you think was mine and which one do you prefer, honestly? I definitely think that the first one was yours because you put a lot of sesame oil in it. Yeah. Which one do I prefer? Mm. Honest, be honest. Honestly, they both are different, but yours was much crispier. Like, it was like a crunch crunch, which I, I definitely prefer when I'm eating food. Now I know it's deep fried, I don't want it to be fucking soggy. So you have to order, they say you can finish one, you can finish one of the two, what one are you choosing? Can I have another piece? Of which? Of the first one. Yeah. Mum's life, I'll pick the first one. Oh my God! I'm actually cracked at this game, bro. Oh, mum. Swear to God. I swear on our brothership. Swear on so me and Toby do a thing where you swear on brothership and it's like you never we've never broken in our lives, we never will. Swear on brothership, you'd prefer my one. The other one's soggy like a wet sock. Bruh, it's full mine, lad. I knew it, bro, I could tell that it was. Bro. This is just soggy. It's like a, oh hey. Bro, I'm fucking cracked at this. Like, that's fucking good. That's how you cook, baby. Fuck. Well, guys, I don't know. I've done it again. Like, I don't know what I'm going to say. I was really expecting to fail that one, but I've passed. So, give me another challenge. Make sure it's harder. I don't know if you can get harder than that. Maybe I'll just start a proper cooking show. Maybe it's not Clueless Cooks. Maybe it's just, like, off its fucking titties good cooking or something like that. Love you guys. See you next week.